I came to University of Alberta in 1977. And interestingly enough, at the time, there was a professor, Fred Sayer, used to work in oil sands. And he was doing a lot of testing and experimentation. And the interesting part, the, the result was very hard to understand. There were really odd results. And I felt that's a good problem to look into. So I did some theoretical work, and everything made sense, and I got sucked in. Jacob's kind of like Madonna. He <laughs> Everybody knows who Jacob is. If you're involved in oil sands, you know who Jacob is. And he's able to listen to what we don't know. And then they come out with real applied science that we can take and turn into more bitumen, better using the resources of Alberta, um, a less environmental footprint. And that's what Jacob does, day, day in and, and day out. We had about eight companies supporting our research. And they are always there for us to help in terms of support financially and to give us ideas and to give us some samples, some oil sand, water, make sure to find tails, so they're always there, and they're really unconditional in their support. And that is very, very interesting. They are absolutely unconditional. Not even once the industry told me, you cannot publish this paper the way I want to publish it, the way I want to state the fact, the way I want to know which journal to publish it in. Absolutely freehand, absolutely. And that's a good feeling, because if it wasn't for that, why am I working for them? I'm not working for them. I'm working for Alberta, not for them. And they know that. Can I pump bitumen by itself? No. no. So what do I have to do? Absorbent. I have to add solvent because I decided not to I don't have a passion because how can you do a job well without a passion? I mean, how can you go and lecture to a class for an hour and a half if you don't feel for the subject? And you have to make it your personal uh, way of looking at things. You have to make the, the class you are teaching in a very personal way. I mean, in my classroom, I don't like people talking, and I don't get anybody talking among themselves, because we feel we have a partnership. We feel we're working together. We're working together to understand. I'm not just there a, a professor teaching. I'm there because I like to be there. And they are my people. I want to work with them. And then I feel incredible feeling of being good, being complete because I was able to transmit that information to the students. I started working with Dr. Mastia since um, August 2003. He was my co-supervisor when I started my master's degree in UV. I've been in conferences with him, I've seen him with other students, with colleagues and everybody, and the way he, he treats everyone is almost the same. He has this uh, characteristic thing that he makes everyone feel very important, you know, at the moment. When he's talking to you, he's there with you all the time, paying attention, and you just think that you are the most important person in the room right now. So that's, that's really amazing. What is so gratifying, so gratifying, you have a green individual comes in. She knows nothing about oil sands. And within a year and a half, they mature, they have the confidence, and they speak up, and they know the area, they go to the industry, and they will be a leading star. He's always made sure that when you visit the insert chair or the work that you're doing, you're not visiting that, you're visiting the students. You're seeing who your potential people that can work for you, who they are. I sometimes at some meeting in industry, two or three students of my own group, they speak up beautifully, they disagree with me, which I love when they do, because they have the courage to do that, and I love it, to argue with them, and they do it so well. And it's great, it's a pleasure to see that. That is a growth, that confidence, and competence is fantastic. Jacob is unassuming with no idea, I, I truly think, of the impact that he's had on the students, the, the industry, his friends, those who touch him. Um, he's generous uh, and he's always trying to show others 
in their best light.